Okay, I don't have my actually. This is for recording only. So <laughs> I hope you can hear me. Well, okay. It's okay, right? Okay, cool. Okay, um, welcome to Spring Meetup. And especially, this is Josh Long Night. <laughs> so, so basically, uh, usually, before the superstar, you know, come on board to the stage, Sometimes we need some music, you know, dance, dancing, <laughs> to warm up, do some warm up stuff. So that's me, I'm here. But I am not a dancer, but I will show you some music later. <coughs> Trust me, <laughs> some music here. So um, a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Brad Zheng, uh, solution architect from Pivotal. Yeah. Actually, I've been, uh, you know, working in... Uh, IT industry for about 70 years, you know, building some uh, interesting systems, applications, projects in this region. So if you put your fingers, you know, in the airport or some, you know, guarded building around Lavender, for example, right? Please remember, I was part of the team building this kind of systems nationwide in Singapore and also this region. But, but again, uh, but if your fingers don't work at all, don't blame me. Because I already show, you know, the responsibility to the ops guys, not me. I was a developer and architect. That's it, not ops guys. Okay, that's the, that's the motivation about the, you know, the CICD pipelines. So today I'm going to talk about um, concourse. So, um, so CICD in short is, um, stands for you know, continuous uh, integration and continuous uh, de uh, deployment. So um, it's, it's all about you know, building some, uh, you know, uh, some pipelines to streamline our processes you know, uh, from you know, uh, development team to ops team so that we can have a, a streamlined process from the code to online services within our production environment. So, so that we can have uh, the benefits like uh, automation, okay, number one, speed, number two, quality also, and also the agility. agility. So any one of you are uh, using uh, Jenkins? Show me the hand. Wow, big fans, huh? okay. <laughs> so how about the big brother of Hudson? Oh, okay. Still have, huh? Okay. <laughs> How about Travis? Travis CI? How can you raise all, all, all your hands huh? every, every time? Okay. So you are really a CI CD guy, huh? Okay. So how about Go CD? Oh, no one, huh? Okay. How about TFS? Huh? Okay. Okay. Good, good question. Maybe I'm, I'm asking a wrong question. Just like I'm asking, you know, how do you feel about Alipay in, you know, PayPal office? <laughs> <laughs> wrong question. TFS is actually from Microsoft. Okay. You know, while well, a couple of years ago, I was using TFS for the BizTalk, this kind of uh, CICD. BizTalk, right? We, oh, through old school technologies, <coughs> but still working there. Okay. TFS. How about Congos? And no one, huh? Okay, great. I, you know, as a developer, I like building the greenfield system. Greenfield system. That's a chance. Okay, again, we have many, you know, CRCD frameworks there in the market, right? You know, a lot of, a lot of fans for, you know, um, Jenkins. So, why Concourse? Again, greenfield system. Okay. <laughs> So actually, there's some uh, you know um, comparison uh, between Concourse and the Jenkins, Concourse and the uh, Travis CI, and the Concourse and the Go CD. Some you know right parts there. You can take a look at that. Why we need these kind of things? You know, uh, while building our uh, cloud foundry, you know, systems uh, within Pivotal and uh, maybe some other markets in US and Europe. But I'm thinking, well, maybe it's time to bring it over to Singapore and this region. Okay, later I will show you some demo um, so you can feel it. 
uh, how we talk about simple number one right why concourse the number one for me is very simple again we are developers we are working for codes we are working for basic logic we are not working for some you know whether these kind of things so we simple is the simple is number one to me so another one is the concepts also very very little very minimal actually we have three major you know concepts only three you know i will show you later again so and the number two is the pipeline, the first class citizen. Wow, this is the also very imp important, you know, because we are not trying to click a lot of buttons just to figure out one single pipeline. We're using code. We love code, right? So and we have some you know resources interface that's pluggable. So you also can write your resource. I will show you why resource is important later within the demo. And we can we run all these kind of builds every steps you know tasks right every task is running in one isolated co docker container <coughs> okay container right? anyway it's container so it might be docker okay so we can have our we call it dependable results because they are isolated within the container that's it that's the idea behind so we can form a pipeline like this what i show you okay so even in talk about the architecture, also very simple. You think about this. Firstly, we have the fry, which is the command line tool. So we can use the command line tool to do that. This is the ATC. We call it. Uh, it's a UI. It's about UI and the RESTful API. And we call it another TSA. It's about the SSH server. So which can talk to our workers to assign some tasks. You know, to run it within uh, containers which will be spun up by garden runcy which is our so-called container engine so actually the, the image itself is docker image right and we persistent our data you know information uh, status uh, within our postgres database that's it that's very straightforward and very simple okay this is the concepts so very simple for example we have a pipeline we have some jobs. We call it jobs. Okay, anyway. So, for example, in the number one job, we have a plan. The plan, we, firstly, we may need to get a repo. Very simple, right? And then we do something. Maybe uh, get, uh, you get back a uh, so called the semantic version in a file, for example. So we know the major, you know, the major uh, minor patch 1.0.1, for example, right? So we do some, we build an artifacts, for example. And then we do something else and then we publish the release candidates for example to the s3 bucket it might be on brain or amazon s3 it doesn't matter or some other you know uh, binary uh, repository it doesn't matter so after that oh this one done this job is done within the you know within this job is done then we hand over this will be the resource okay this is this is all about resource then we will output as another, uh, the resource will be another job's input, it might be, right? Then they will take it for another job as the input. So it will get back the, the bucket uh, uh, for, uh, for the release candidates. And they do some, uh, for example, we put it to Cloud Foundry, for example, or you can do something else. And then we verify it. And then we, okay, we release as a formal uh, release binary to the another bucket for example it might be up to you and then we do some notify say hey, how yeah 1.0.1 .1 is already there so this forms the pipeline oh any questions so far anyway i will show you the demo later just stop me huh? any question raise your hands so again we are using the car you know the pipeline we are trying to you know visualize our status by different colors so we even can mount it you know on the wall just like what you you see you see the in, in the in the uh the btv right you can make your team's pipeline there so everyone can see wow if today is green all green what's the weather today green day so happy flow everything is fine if it's red something wrong so you need to check it out what happened which commit caused the problem 
So we can check out by this kind of visualized you know, UI, very simple, pipeline. OK? So has, you know, we have some different colors again. The number one is failed, means the job after running, verify, for example, it's not as expected. It's failed. If it's paused, uh, blue. If uh, you know the brown, about it. Error means actually your code in the pipeline is wrong. The pipeline doesn't work at all. It's an error. Okay. And if successful again, it's green day. Huh? Then if newly added job, it's just gray. So very easy, right? Based on this one, you see what happened. What's happening? So very easy to trace, to see the status of your pipeline. And at the results, we can just uh, have three so-called um, interfaces. Number one is check, and then in, out. In means uh, just to retrieve something. Then we can do some massage. OK, out is just to update the status. For example, I clone the GitHub. OK, I update the, I attack it as 1.0.1. .1. So I get it back, and then put it there. Get up the uh, put, so very easy. Check is just to check was any new version there. The new version, how to define a new version is really up to you. Depends on the scenario. For example, if this is a time resource, you want to check it every minute. So after one minute, it's a new version, right? So you can say, oh, I already checked it. Another uh, new version after one minute. So it's really the. So um, because we are running in container, actually, you can make it. By using some very simple uh, shell scripts, or using Go, or Ruby, whatever actually, it doesn't matter. But we actually, most of the, our you know resources are implemented by Go and shell scripts. You can consider it like that. If you fork it, maybe if you like a Go, you implement a Go version. Okay, really up to you. But we have three interfaces only, and you don't have to implement all. Depends, really depends on what you want. For example, just now I mentioned the Cloud Foundry resource. Actually, we implemented check and out only. We don't want to retrieve some information from there because we are trying to deploy. So it's flexible. And there is a list of uh, uh, you know, Concourse team supported resources. I won't go read through all this, but you can take a look at that. And the UI, uh, URL is there, so you can take, uh, you can use your phone or whatever to check it out. And a bigger, lo a longer list of the community supported resources. So I can say that it's more than enough. I mean, by some uh, you know user usage, whatever you are using to. Sorry. What does the red box mean? Which one? The red, box. the red boxes. The red boxes around the bullet point. Okay. That one I just would I would like to highlight. That's it. Sorry, I just just would like highlight because, for example, if you are using tele telephone to uh, do some uh, you know spin up the wow Cloud Foundry, for example, in uh, GCP or AWS, you can use that one to do. So even the deployment is really you know tough. But by using this kind of uh, you know the resource, it might be very easy. You can write some uh, telephone you know scripts, so you can spin up your environment very easily. Um, by the automation tools, uh, scripts. If you are using vaults, you can use uh, these kind of things to manage your credentials. Doesn't matter, up to you. And if you are using, for example, email, you can send the email. For example, if you release the 1.0.1, .1, you send an email to your boss, say, hey, you see the, one, the new version already released. Okay, it's fine. So it really depends on uh, what you want to do, you know, what you want to achieve. The red box, just I would like to highlight. That's it. So, some more highlights about the results, as, as because it is really important. I, I will show you a, a little bit more. So, for example, we are using Git resource, right? It might be pointing to our on-prem Git repo or GitHub, for example. It doesn't matter. So, you can just um, just uh, put your UI, the branch, and then the key. That's it. You declare like this. And then maybe you can you need to get it back, to clone it back, to build it, you know, to release the artifacts, to deploy to the environment. So you get it back and then put it as a as, as a mention. Maybe you want to tag it 
as the version 1.0.1 okay for s3 actually you also can very easy to define the bucket name uh, the the bucket name here actually the the pattern you want to retrieve that if you want to get it that for example right and then the, the key and this, that's the, the, this is the so-called a uh, uh, key ID and a key uh, access key and the endpoint also if we are using on plan we need to specify the endpoint later I will show you how I'm using and you know I build it all in my laptop and uh, you get it back then you can put it back also very simple right that's the usage of uh, this kind of uh, resources and then the cloud, uh, cloud foundry also very simple the API username password and then organization space that's it and then you put it then we can deploy to our environments are those environment variables yes yes I will show you uh, we, you, we can need to uh, inject you know these variables so we can have our own you know uh, credentials in our laptop we don't you know this one these kind of things we should keep it in version system it might be github for example so I don't want to expose my credentials there definitely so I keep it in my laptop but I can inject it to the pipeline yeah I'll show you later okay sorry so this one also okay I, I, I never tried it so so I, I don't show you okay a quick demo okay so um, so firstly I, I'm going to demo um, a rig, uh, let me see uh, a very simple demo for us uh, uh, hello world let me make it bigger and put it there come on <laughs> Okay, so uh, let me introduce the environment first. So, um, okay, for the hardware, it's easy. Huh? Okay, let me do it. I'm using the Docker uh, Compose uh, anyway. I, I introduce my environment first, maybe uh, one minute. Um, I'm using Docker Compose to uh, spin up my environment. So here, firstly, I'm using a private Docker registry, okay? And then the menu, is uh, we call it on plan S3 compatible uh, store. So, and then three components of concourse. So, everything is just within one uh, uh, Docker Compose file. So, I spin it up. So, just wait for a while. Okay, I think it's up and running. Let's check, check it out. So firstly, we uh, this is concourse. No, no, nothing here. So this is our on-prem. Um, this is our on-prem S3 store. So now you can see I, I'm working very hard, right? So some versions are already there. Okay, this is the environment I will, later we use to deploy our application. This is our PWS Pivotal Web Services. So it's our you know, it's a it's a it's a online pass pass uh, platform. Okay, let's do the first one to. Uh, very simple. Okay, let me show you a little bit on the the syntax. Okay. So I just push it there first. So um, then we can lock it into the environment. Right there. So this, this is the, our first pipeline. By default, the pipeline is paused. So we need to uh, uh, enable this one. Click it. Or by command line, it doesn't matter. So now we already had our first pipeline. I'll show you a little bit on the syntax here now. Sorry. So it's here. 
So number one, we define a resource, time resource. So every, uh, the interval is one minute. So every one minute is a new version, okay? So here is, a, is a, we get it back as the input, and then we do a, a task, rain it. And then we are using a Linux con uh, a platform, a Docker image is a busy boss. Uh, fair enough, very easy, right? right? Take a look on the, on the, on the okay, it's, it's, it's done. It's green day. So actually, actually just now we already uh, started the first round. You can take a look on that. For example, all the details. You see, uh, we uh, pull down the busy box, and then I love spring. Okay, this is the so-called echo. Very easy, right? I love spring. Me too, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, every minute, they will trigger another round. So we, we, we won't wait. We go to another demo, which is much more, um, I think it's much more real. Okay. So in uh, this is we call it almost real, but it's not real. Okay. So firstly, we have uh, we need to build uh, artifacts, as I mentioned, right? I get I get it from the the version file, in which is hosted in the, our uh, on-prem S3 uh, store, and they get back the Git repo from my Git my my uh, uh, Git repo uh, uh, folder, and then I, I I build it and I publish it to the S3 uh, bucket. After that, I do an SIT. The SIT will do something there and measure you know, the environment. I can test it. For my uh, demo, it's very simple. I just verify the endpoint, make sure we got the 200 response. That's it. After that, we, you know, we release. OK, as the, uh, I will, will deploy to the test environment to Cloud Foundry. And then we ship it to the uh, production environment, also confront with another space, and then release as a production um, bucket, and then we take it as the version. Wow, we release one a new version, so it's the okay. It's the process. So let me okay, let me trigger it. A pride, yes. <coughs> now we have second pipeline. We just enable it. Wait for a while, this one will start. But this one will take some time, so I won't uh, go through all the details. But if you are interested, you can check out my. Um, um, GitHub repo. So here I, I show you all the details. I have a folder here, CI. So you can take a look at that. So you can see, see all these uh, details. So this you can check it out and see uh, how to configure this one. But it's really just uh, some subcodes. We are using code, you know, to farm our pipeline. So let me take a look at, at the environment. So it might be running there. You see here, it's the anim animation. Okay, okay. So it's the uh, animation here. So it's running there. So if you click on this one, you will see all the details, all the details. But after a while, maybe uh, later I show you, maybe offline. This one will go go through, and all the things will be you know done, including deploying to um to our environments, which is here. Now it's zero. No applications here. The production environment also empty. So uh, it's very straightforward. Okay, let me wrap it up as a um, quick one. So it's really fun to build pipelines by using concourse. Again, we are using code, YAML file. Even if you are not a big fan of YAML, it's still very straightforward, okay? And some resources also, you can take, check it out. Um, for the concourse documents, the great tutorial, and which is, uh, recommend uh, this one because i believe if you go through this you will be the expert also for how do you at least how to use concourse right i mean this one recommend that okay some others you just uh, take a take a uh, shot maybe then you can uh, learn it by yourself 
So, add question. What about blue green? Blue green is uh, is just uh, you can make it another pipeline. For example, you want to uh, deploy to. Uh, for example, you deploy the. Uh, you can consider the current version as the blue, right? You can deploy another version there. And then for if, if you are, so if for example, you, if you, you are Cloud Foundry, you can make the, you know, the, the, the routes point to the both. Yeah. If everything is fine, you can eventually shut it down and remo remove the routes to the blue. So the blue will sunset and we all only left the green. So it's just part of the pipeline. It, may, it might be three steps, for example. You deploy, you, you deploy a new one, do a testing, and then remove and then sunset the blue. Uh, just tasks? Yeah. And um, no, Concourse is just the pipeline framework. Okay. How you test it? For example, by Selenium, whatever, this kind of automation uh, testing tools, right? It's really up to you. But it's just a pipeline. I mean, you know, they, how do they use the Cloud Foundry resource, or what, what is there to? Push. Okay, um, there are there are two uh, 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 major as cloud foundry related resources. Number one is CF uh, resource as uh, uh, CF resource, and another one is CF CLI resource, which is much more powerful. But it's from community because CF resource is more on application related. We cannot do some route, you know, uh, you know, configuration. yeah, configuration. But if we are using a CF CLI, we can do everything. Because uh, you know, Cloud Foundry is API driven, so it's more it's it's much more about how to you know handle the APIs. You know, you use the API to control our environments. <coughs> That's it. Yeah. Do you want to show the logs uh, of the current pipeline build? Uh, sure. <coughs> you should have some updates now. Uh, what kind of logs? Yeah. So now this one already done, right? So this is a uh, more about build. So we can take a look on that. For example, if you check up, uh, take a look on this, uh, this, this, this kind of things. This is our my Git repos um, UUID. So it, it will be seen here. Um, let me see which one. Um, it's, 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 it's about the uh, okay. Just just the tag. It's 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 the this kind of things. It's a commit code. So uh, if if you link it back, you can link it back here. Then here is the you you see the the error here. This is dumb error. So it means it's a get. This is a get. This is a get. This is a task. This is a put, very straightforward, right? So even you, okay, I can open this one, you can see much more details. So you can see here, actually I'm, I'm uploading this uh, to my, you can see the URL here, right? It's my local um, S3 uh, store. So we just upload there. You can see all the details actually, if you, you want to do that. But if you don't, you still can just see the very high level Green day or red day. It's really simple. Okay? Okay, that's it. You see the second right down? Similarly, you can see all see through all this. This is a process you can see here. This is a process to deploy to the um to the Cloud Foundry, uh, PC, uh, P, uh, PWS. I can take a look on the application, it should be ready there. Test environment. Oh, oh, hold on, one, one second. See here? Yeah, I promise, I will show you some music. <laughs> here it is, spring music. Even there are old songs, uh, <laughs> so, but I, I hope you love it. That's it, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.